in this video i'm going to show you how a simple set of pictures like this can be used in so many different ways to teach our children so take a sheet of paper or chart and have a number of pictures like this so depending on your skill set and on the functioning level of your child so use pictures that the children can easily identify if you're not great at drawing you can use stickers or even stick pictures from the internet or you can use an alphabet grid like this or you can use a number grid like this and depending on uh, your child's level of functioning you can start off with maybe a smaller grid and then go over to a bigger grid like this so what are the games we can play so the first game that we play is we do something called as rapid naming that is the child has to quickly name one after the other whatever is the picture or the alphabet or the word or the number that is written there so they go butterfly a boat, cat, chocolate, star, ice cream, ball, comb, sun, that way. The second game that they play is again naming, but you alternate with the child. So it is naming with turn taking. So you name one picture, child names the next, then you, then the child. So that way. So that helps with the turn taking skill also. And in this turn taking game, what you do is first you keep your finger along the picture, then slowly you remove the finger and you just name the picture. The child has to name the picture next to it so that way you can do the third game that we can play is pointing so whichever is a picture or the number you say the child has to point or you can use blocks or you can use beads or you can use uh, you know anything bangles and the child has to keep it on uh, that picture so that is one game that you can do the next game that you can do is pointing to description so whichever is the picture you describe the child has to point out so how we do that you say i want you to show me something that swims in water so the child points to the fish then you say i want something that you can cut with child points to the scissor similarly if they are very simple you can go over to matching games so you have a second set of pictures like this you keep them down and then you take turns to match so first is you and then is the kid so this way they have to search for the picture and they have to match it so you do it this way matching with turn taking what is the next game that you can play is you play a game of directions so what you do is you give children cue cards like this this can become a game wherein everybody sits around and plays also so you have a cue card like this so what this card says is you have to start at the grape then you go right again you go right and then you go down so the child has to first search for the grape then you go right then you go right and then you go down so what came here glasses so in this space the child can either draw the glasses or uh, you know write uh, a word or whatever it is or point to that or something like that or keep a block there anything like that so this is one uh, variation another thing that we can do is like this no same cue card but for the alphabets this is lion so where is the lion l for the lion so they have to start at the l then you go down then it says you go left again you go left and then you come down so that's a c so the child has to write the c here okay so something like this so again it helps with directions of left right up down you can also use this as a task box activity that is you give the child these cue cards and they have to sit and do it independently so they have to fill that gap up there independently without your help try it out and let me know in the comments how it goes